Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I will show you how to effortlessly process receipt scan data and automate its distribution across multiple related SharePoint lists. So let's get started. First, let me show you the receipt. So we have a receipt here from a grocery store. We have some high level information about that receipt that who is the merchant, what is the total amount and what time we have paid for that receipt items. But then we also got details of each product we have bought and the unit price for each product. So we will be capturing this information in two different lists. So one to capture the overall receipt information like transaction date, the total cost and merchant name etc. And then we will have a receipt items list where we will capture each individual item and the unit price associated with that item and then we will link that receipt item into the receipt record via the lookup column. So if I go back to SharePoint you can see there is a receipts list which have a title column, transaction date and total amount. In title I will save the merchant name at this point and we will add the receipt transaction date and the total amount we have paid. And then if I go to receipt items list we can see a title column where we will see the each product name we will save that information there and then the unit price for that each item we have bought and then this is the lookup column which will link these records back to the receipt list so then we will know that what items were bought against which receipt record now let's go to the power app and create our app to process this information so from the power app i will click on the create icon here i will select a blank app i will select blank canvas app and click on create i will give this app a name i will call it receipt scanning app and i will change the format to phone because i want people to take a picture of a receipt and process that information in real time into sharepoint list and then i will click on create all right so we have a blank canvas app available here so let's add some element to this screen first. I will click on this drop down insert menu and I will search for receipt processor. So you can see it's an artificial intelligence component receipt processor. I will select that. It will add the receipt processing component on this page. All right. So I will just move it somewhere in the middle here. This will help us to scan the receipt upload from the computer or using your image to scan the receipt. Next, we need a button. So for now, what I will call this button is, I will call it show data. So whatever information we capture in the receipt, I will click on the button and that will put that information into collections. And then we can show some tables here so we can see the collections and what's data inside. And then I will click on save button here. So we need to create two tables and a save button. You can avoid all of these steps and directly have a save button to save information into SharePoint list. So this is for the demo purpose. So when we scan a receipt, what information we get into the collection, we can show that in the real time in the tables before we can click on save. Maybe this is another way you can build your app where you want to see the data and maybe you want to cleanse that data before you click on save to actually save the information into SharePoint list. So I will go to insert tab and then I will search for table and then I can use a classic table because I'm using the preview early access environment. I can select the modern layout. So that's our first table. I will change the dimension of this table and I will move it down here. Okay. And then I will go ahead and create another table. I'll search for table again and then I will add that table down here. And then the one last thing we need to add is a button to save that information into SharePoint list. So I will add that button here and I will rename this button to save. So let's look at this show data button and see what code we need to add in here. So on the on select property of this button, I need to change this code. So if I click on this drop arrow, I will remove this code here. So first thing we're doing is we are creating 
receipt data collection. So we are capturing the merchant name from that receipt processor one, which is our component process the receipt dot merchant name. And then we are capturing the transaction date and we are changing the date format to day, month and year. And then the total cost from the receipt processor component. So that's our first collection. And we are expecting only one record in this collection. Our second collection is that we are getting the seed processor one purchase item. Now this purchase item is already an object of collections. So there are more than one purchase item. So we can directly pass the whole object of collections into this collection. So we create the seed detail collection as well. One more thing we need to do is we need to store this transaction date into a variable. The reason why we're doing that is that we will create a date picker column and then we will pass this variable to the date picker. That way it will make our life easier to patch this date in the correct format into the shape on disk. So I have created a variable and I put the transaction date. Let me change the format. It should be day, day, month, month and year, year. We are saving that transaction date into the variable date. And then let's create a hidden date picker where we can pass this variable to the selected date. So I will go to insert and then I will select the date picker. I will move this date picker somewhere below this save button and then I will set the visible property to off. But then after selecting the date picker, I will go to the drop down and I will change the selected date property to var date. So that's the variable we have got the transaction date in, in the correct format and we are applying that to this date picker column. So we will have the right value in here. Then we will patch the information to shape on list. Instead of using the date value from that collection, we will use the date value from this date picker to patch into shape on list successfully. We are done with the creating those collections. So first collection is receipt data collection and then the second one is receipt detail collection. So if I copy the name of receipt data collection and then if I go to the first table and then on the items property if I paste the name of that collection we can see the collection name is resolved and then if I go to back to the show data button code and I select the second collection which is our receipt detail collection and copy it and then if I come back to the second table and then under items if I insert the value here you can see the collection is attached to this table now. So if I select now first table and in terms of fields if I click on edit I can click on add field we can add merchant name transaction date and total cost and click on add so we have three columns in there if I select the second table which have the item detail collection I will click on fields, add field, here we will select name and then the total price. That's the column which have the information in there. So I will click on add. Okay, so that's good. Let's test this app for now and see if we are pulling the information correctly into these two tables. So I will click on save and then I will click on this button to play the app. I will click on scan receipt. I will upload the receipt from my PC. So at the moment it is scanning the receipt information. And then if I click on show data at this point we are collecting the data in collection and then we have attached the collection to these two tables. I will click on show data. Now you can see we have both table populated. So first table with the high level receipt data, the merchant name, the transaction date and the total cost. And then we have a second table where we have individual item and the total price for the individual item. I've created a string column in that list because this data is not in a numeric format. You can add some expressions here to extract only the numeric value and pass the numeric value into a shape on list. For this demo purpose, I just want to keep it simple. Okay, so that information is populating correctly. Now let's go ahead and patch this information into shape on list. So to save the information in shape on list, First, we need to make connection to the receipt and receipt item list. So from the left hand menu, if I click on the data tab and if I click on add data and then if I search for shape point, I can see the shape point connector. I can select an existing connection or I can create a new one. 
In this case, I will select the existing one. I can enter the site URL where both of those lists exist or I can select from a recent site. So the site is site A, I will select that. And the lists are receipts and receipts item, I will select. So now we are connected to the both lists. Let's click on the save button and on the on select property, I need to change this code. I want to, for each item in this receipt collection, even though we are expecting only one item in there, it's still a collection. I want to pass the information into the receipt list in SharePoint, the title, the total amount, and you can see the transaction date. Instead of using the collection object, I am getting the value from the date picker selected date because we have taken the value initially in a variable and we pass this to a date picker component so we can now patch that information correctly into SharePoint. One other thing you must have noticed that I'm creating another collection which is created receipt collection. This is required because when we create receipt item records, we need an ID of that receipt so we can add it to the lookup column. So each receipt item then is connected to that receipt record. Next, we will take the first collection object ID of that created receipt because we are expecting only one record there. We will pass the information to the newly created receipt ID variable. So we'll have the ID of that newly record created in the receipt list. Once we have the ID, now we can have a patch function to the receipt items list. Now this is the patch function for the receipt item list where I'm patching the title, unit price and the receipt which is the lookup column and for the ID and the value column, I'm passing this variable where we have captured the newly created receipt ID. So for the both ID and value, I'm passing the same value. Okay, so now the code is completed. Let's click on save and let's click on play and test this app. So I will click on the upload icon again to choose an image. If you're using a mobile phone, you should be able to just take a picture of that receipt. I'm using a desktop version, so I have to upload an image. So I will select that receipt and click on open. It is scanning that receipt information to extract the valuable data from that receipt. And if I click on show data, it will pull all the information into these two tables as we can see here. And then if I click on the save button, it will add that data into receipt and receipt item list. Before I click on save, if I go back to receipt items and the receipt list, we can see both lists are empty. There is no data in there. So let's go back to the Power App and click on save now. So if I go back to the SharePoint list and refresh the receipt list, we can see the receipt data has been captured. If I quickly show you the receipt next to it, we can see the merchant name is Asta Store Limited. We can see that information is there. And the date of that receipt is 16th of September 2022. We can see the transaction date is here and the total amount is four pound and 50 pence. We can see the total amount here. Now, if I go to receipt items list and we can see there are three items which we have bought, two biscuits and one sweets, and we can see the right price against each of the item. And also we can see that each of this record is linked to the receipt record which we have created in the receipt list. So hopefully now you understand how easily you can create a power app to process receipt scans data and automate its distribution across multiple related SharePoint lists. Thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding Microsoft Power Platform AI Hub features or any other query related to this video, add in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer your question. Thank you.